I am the poet McQuinn, and this is the land where the pharaohs die. We live among the land where the pharaohs die, who built mountains of stone that rise into the sky, that seem to last forever as generations pass by, holding mysteries lost to the world right in front of our eyes. Where knights of chivalry once roamed against the most gallant of foes, but are now stories told today, and the truth no one really knows. Where courage and passion ran bountiful, creating events among time that glows. For they were truly alive once upon a time, though their reality fades as time goes. The scenes upon the shores of the Tigris and Euphrates still are. They lived in another world so long ago, but gazed upon the same star. Fighting epic creatures we know not today, as we see from paintings on a jar, having lived upon this world and making their journey to the afterlife afar. To gaze at the horizon and walk along the streets of Pompeii is to walk in the same places among another time in the same way. When you look at the cinder bodies of those that nature took away, they left their time early among tragedy, but lived forever without decay. They fought their battles with weapons in hand and face to face. As courage and skill they displayed, as their honor they wouldn't disgrace. A time when leaders would be in the front of every charge, in every place. All blood spilled and deeds done those days are now gone without a trace. A time when all you now know didn't exist and upon another age. When the world was a different place but has changed with the page. Alexander and his people saw the world after many battles they did wage. He finally lost to illness but had the greatest empire before exiting the stage. They lived among the land of the ice and snow. Loved, fought, and lived in an ancient time long ago. Land of the midnight sun where all the stars aglow. Battle hardened and well traveled and to Valhalla someday would go. We live among the land where the pharaohs die. Land soaked with many stories, but under the same sky. Where many have once lived, though time has passed them by. All with their own stories, in their own time, through their own eyes.